Let's start at the very beginning. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 origin stories of all time. For this list, we're looking at the most compelling origin stories across all media, including film, television, comics, video games, and anime. Since some of these backstories tie into plot twists, a spoiler alert is in order. Number 20. Walter White, Breaking Bad When we first meet Walter White, his brilliant mind is being squandered on disrespectful high school students. Unable to even command a classroom, Walt is the last person you'd expect to build a meth empire. Just as chemistry is the study of change, however, Walt evolves, as creator Vince Gilligan put it, from, quote, Mr. Chips to Scarface. But you know the business, and I know the chemistry. I'm thinking maybe you and I could partner up. It all begins when Walt is diagnosed with lung cancer. To secure his family's financial future, Walt dedicates his final years to the drug trade. By the final episode, though, the Walt we met at the beginning of this story resurfaces, bringing his transformation full circle. I liked it. I was good at it. Number 19. The Elric Brothers, the Full Metal Alchemist franchise. The origins of Edward and Alphonse Elric are grounded in elements of science fiction, horror, and dark fantasy. Above all else, their backstory is all about the bonds of family and the lengths some will go to preserve them. You know, there might be a way we could bring Mom back, huh? But I thought it said in all the books that using alchemy to make people is something you're not supposed to do ever. That's right. That's why it'll be our secret. When their mother passes away, the Elric brothers attempt to resurrect her through alchemy. The human transmutation doesn't go as planned, costing Edward his left leg and Alphonse his whole body. Damn it! This can't be happening! To save his brother, Edward gives up his right arm in exchange for Al's soul and encapsulates it in a suit of armor. The brothers lose a piece of their childhood innocence they can't get back. They can restore their bodies, however, and so they set off on a coming-of-age journey to find the Philosopher's Stone. Number 18. Demona, Gargoyles Few villains in the Disney pantheon are as nuanced as Demona, whose full backstory is revealed over the course of four epic episodes. As tensions rise between humans and gargoyles, Demona strikes up a deal to protect her own kind. Demona's actions instead result in most of the gargoyles being destroyed, while her love is turned to stone for a thousand years. Demona's origin story is right out of a Shakespearean tragedy. She even encounters the Scottish King Macbeth, forming a partnership that eternally intertwines their fates. History inevitably repeats itself, as Demona betrays the king and in due course loses another clan. Spare me your righteous outrage, Macbeth. I know you would have betrayed me and my kind to win the approval of the English. Never would I have done so! Unable to accept that she's her own worst enemy, Demona channels her anger, grief, and pain into ridding the world of humanity. Number 17. Magneto, the X-Men franchise Magneto started out as a more traditional comic book baddie, bent on exterminating humans to make way for what he considered to be the next step in evolution. We are the future, Charles, not them. They no longer matter. While Magneto's goal hasn't drastically changed over the years, the context behind his actions has. Our perception of this magnetic mutant was never the same after learning he was imprisoned at Auschwitz. Following the Holocaust, he met Charles Xavier, who sought to unite the mutant and human worlds. Who are you? My name's Charles Xavier. Are you in my head? How did you do that? You have your tricks, I have mine. I'm like you. Just calm your mind. Magneto, meanwhile, only saw one path, where his own kind reigned supreme. Regardless of his extremist methods, you can understand where Magneto's coming from. His backstory transformed him from just another supervillain to a layered figure driven by years of loss, persecution, and revenge. Number 16. Don Draper, Mad Men Dick Whitman, stop digging holes. Build a fire under the cauldron. Are you kid? With money, good looks, and a beautiful family, Don Draper appears to be living the American dream. Just as advertising can be misleading, though, the man who calls himself Don Draper isn't what he seems. He was born Richard Dick Whitman, the son of a prostitute and a cruel farmer. During the Korean War, Dick served under a lieutenant named Don Draper, who died in an explosion. Carrying Don's dog tags, Dick is mistaken for his former lieutenant upon being rescued. How are we doing, Lieutenant Draper? He thus decided to assume the identity of Mr. Draper, leaving Dick Whitman behind for good. Although he's been given a fresh start, our protagonist repeatedly finds himself asking the same question over the next couple of decades. Who is Don Draper?
Number 15. Prince Zuko, Avatar The Last Airbender In Season 1's The Storm, we delve deeper into the origins of protagonist Aang and antagonist Zuko. As different as their personalities are, both were born into roles that entailed great responsibility. Whereas Aang was mentored by the understanding monk Gyatso, Zuko was raised under the callous hand of his father, Fire Lord Ozai. When Zuko spoke out against a general's plans, he was locked into a firebender duel. What Zuko didn't realize was that his opponent would be his father, in an arena full of spectators no less. Unwilling to fight his father, Zuko pleaded for mercy. Instead, Ozai gave his son a scar across the face and banished him. I looked away. Zuko subsequently set out to restore his honor, finding it in an unexpected place. Number 14. Scorpion – The Mortal Kombat Franchise Get over here! Scorpion may not seem like a complex character on the surface, but there's more to this undead ninja specter than meets the eye. Throughout the Mortal Games franchise, Scorpion has shifted from being an antagonist to an anti-hero to a full-fledged hero. In the beginning, however, he was Hanzo Hasashi, a human warrior who had his family, clan, and life brutally torn away. Initially, Hanzo believed that the one responsible was the assassin named Bihan, also known as Sub-Zero. To gain the abilities to avenge his loved ones, Hanzo made a bargain with the sorcerer Quan Chi. Scorpion's backstory set the stage for one of gaming's greatest rivalries, which would evolve into something even more compelling upon learning that Quan Chi was actually behind the massacre. Very well, but please. Put up more of a fight than your wife did. Number 13. Jon Snow – The A Song of Ice and Fire Franchise For most of his life, Jon Snow is led to believe that he's the bastard of Ned Stark. Although Ned cares for him deeply, Jon nonetheless feels like a pariah who will never share the status of his siblings. Upon joining the Night's Watch, Jon rises up as a brave warrior, a voice of reason, and an honorable leader. Over time, the Bastard of Winterfell is declared King in the North, which is true in more ways than one. For years, readers of George R. R. Martin's novels theorized that Jon was truly the son of Rhaegar Targaryen and Lyanna Stark, and therefore the rightful heir to the Iron Throne. This theory was finally canonized in Game of Thrones, making Jon's origin story complete. Number 12. Beatrix the Bride Kiddo – Kill Bill The bride's backstory is slowly peeled back like an orange. In Volume 1, we learn that her loved ones were slaughtered in a church by the deadly Viper Assassination Squad, whom she used to be affiliated with. Bill put a bullet in her head, sending Kiddo into a coma for four years. I'd like to believe you're aware enough, even now, to know that there's nothing sadistic. In my actions. As Kiddo continues her revenge mission in Volume 2, we further explore her past relationship with Bill, as well as her training under the merciless yet wise hand of Master Pai Mei. Kiddo was motivated to leave her life as an assassin after becoming pregnant with Bill's child, but her fresh start in Texas is short-lived. Borrowing elements from martial arts pictures, westerns, and grindhouse flicks, Kiddo's backstory is pulp at its finest. Number 11. Vito Corleone – The Godfather Series in The Godfather, Don Corleone is depicted as a powerful yet aging man who's lived a full life. I'm gonna make him an offer he can't refuse. We see that full life in Part 2, which commences with nine-year-old Vito Andolini watching his mother die at the hands of Don Ciccio. Immigrating to America as Vito Corleone, this little boy matures into a small-time criminal who eventually takes out a local Don. Vito emerges as one of the most respected and feared figures in New York, while simultaneously being a loving family man. With this newfound authority, Vito returns to Sicily to settle the score with the man who killed his mother. An untouchable gangster who came from nothing, Vito represents everything great about the American dream, as well as that dream's darker potential. Number 10. Gollum – The Middle Earth Franchise Across all Middle Earth, you won't find a more tragic figure than Gollum. This twisted creature was once a storish hobbit named Smeagol, who, one ill-fated birthday, lost himself to the One Ring. When the ring was discovered by his relative Deagle, Smeagol quickly resorted to murder to possess it. Smeagol was possessed, however, succumbing to the ring's power and receiving the nickname Gollum. Precious. Banished to the Misty Mountains, Gollum spent his days coveting the ring until it fell into the hands of Bilbo Baggins. 
When Gollum does finally catch up with the ring, he finds himself torn between his unquenchable obsession and what's left of Smeagol. Gollum's story sadly isn't one of redemption, but at least he leaves the world clutching his precious. Number 9. The Wicked Witch of the West, also known as Elphaba, the Oz franchise. The Emerald City is fast and lightning! From L. Frank Baum's 1900 children's book to the 1939 cinematic classic, the Wicked Witch of the West is one of pop culture's most recognizable villains. Gregory Maguire provided a different take on this iconic character in his 1995 novel Wicked, which was adapted into a 2003 musical of the same name. In the Wicked lore, the titular witch is painted as an anti-heroine named Elphaba. Shunned due to her green skin, Elphaba nonetheless proves herself to be gifted and determined. When she rebels against Oz's oppressive authority, though, the land forever deems her wicked. The wicked formula has been applied to various other antagonists, including Maleficent. Yet Elphaba's backstory remains the most emotionally endearing, setting a gold standard. Or, we guess, a green standard. Number 8. Sarah Connor, The Terminator Franchise when an AI known as Skynet plunges the world into anarchy, John Connor leads a resistance against the machines. This story begins, however, with John's mother Sarah. A seemingly ordinary waitress, Sarah's life is forever changed when she's targeted by the T-800, an android sent back in time to prevent her from giving birth to humanity's savior. The resistance has sent back a soldier of their own, Kyle Reese, who becomes Sarah's sworn protector and much more. Come with me if you want to live. Even after John is born, Sarah's story is far from over. Her experiences mold her into a stronger, more resilient woman who won't go down without a fight. It's fascinating watching Sarah's radical transformation throughout the first two Terminator movies. Just don't ask about the Genesis timeline. Number 7. Harry Potter – The Harry Potter Franchise He killed my parents, didn't he? The one who gave me this. You know, Hagrid. I know you do. For the first 11 years of his life, Harry Potter remains in the dark about his lineage. Upon being visited by Hagrid, however, Harry discovers that he's a wizard. You're a wizard, Harry. And that's just the tip of the lightning bolt scar. Years earlier, it was prophesied that a boy would be born with the ability to defeat the Dark Lord Voldemort. Believing this to be Harry, Voldemort attempted to prevent the prophecy from coming true. He destroyed Harry's father and mother, the latter of whom sacrificed herself to protect her one-year-old son. Due to his mother's sacrifice, Harry was protected from Voldemort, whose body was destroyed by his own killing curse. Nevertheless, Voldemort's soul lived on, and he repeatedly returned to clash with the boy who lived. Number 6. Frankenstein's Monster – The Frankenstein Novel and Films Who are you? I'm Maria. Few realize that the full title of Mary Shelley's 1818 novel is Frankenstein or The Modern Prometheus referring to the titan who defied the gods and gave fire to humanity. In some interpretations, Prometheus is actually the creator of humanity. Shelley couldn't have fathomed it at the time, but she didn't just borrow from Greek mythology. She created a modern mythology that's taken on a life of its own. That mythology would be further popularized and altered slightly in Universal's 1931 film. While versions vary, there are several elements we all associate with the origins of Frankenstein's monster. An operating table rising into the night sky, lightning, and a mad scientist proclaiming, It's alive! Oh, it's alive! It's alive! It's alive! It's alive! Almost every monster movie owes something to this backstory. Number 5. King Arthur – Various the legend of King Arthur has been retold countless times, but there isn't really a definitive interpretation. This is a testament to just how timeless Arthur's story is. One adaptation alone can't cover everything. While there are too many versions to list here, most depict Arthur as an unlikely young hero destined for greatness. That sword you carry is made of iron from this earth, forged in the fires of Britain. It was love of your mother that freed the sword, not hatred of me. A wizard named Merlin recognizes that greatness, setting Arthur on the path to sovereignty. In many retellings, Arthur's story truly begins with the enchanted sword Excalibur, which he either pulls from a stone or receives from the Lady of the Lake. This leads to Arthur's romance with Guinevere, alliance with the Knights of the Round Table, and rightful place on Camelot's throne. It's a tale fit for a king. Number 4. Spider-Man – The Spider-Man Franchise Remember, with great power comes great responsibility. All right, let's do this one last time. Peter Parker was a nerdy outsider with a knack for science. Peter became his own greatest experiment, however, when he was bitten by a genetically modified spider, giving him heightened reflexes, the ability to crawl up walls, and, of course, spider sense. 
Sadly, it wasn't until the sudden death of his uncle Ben that Peter fully understood the responsibility that came with his powers, protecting New York from that day forward. Having been depicted in two live-action movies, Peter's origins are permanently cemented in our memories. By the time he finally joined the MCU, his backstory was so familiar we didn't even need a recap. No matter what universe you're from, Spider-Man's origin never fails to hit home. Nice job, kid. Thanks. Well, I could have stuck the landing a little better. It's just a new suit. Wait, it's nothing. Mr. Stark, it's, it's perfect. Thank you. Number three, Superman, the Superman franchise. You will travel far, my little Kalem. But we will never leave you, even in the face of our death. Superman's origins are practically biblical, often drawing comparison to the likes of Moses and Jesus. Kal-El was only a baby when his parents were forced to send him away from their dying planet Krypton. Arriving on Earth in a small spacecraft, the last son of Krypton was discovered by Jonathan and Martha Kent. Raising the baby as their own and naming him Clark, he'd eventually relocate to Metropolis under the guise of a mild-mannered reporter. Behind those glasses, though, was the Man of Steel. This tale has been depicted in comics, animation, and live-action films. Smallville even managed to stretch it out to 10 seasons. The best adaptations understand that Superman's backstory isn't just an iconic one, but also an important piece of pop culture. Number 2. Luke Skywalker – The Star Wars Franchise While Anakin Skywalker's backstory had its emotional highs, it wasn't everything we'd hoped for. His son's origin story, on the other hand, has materialized into a modern legend. Even if the film medium were to disappear somehow, people would still gather around and tell the tale of Luke Skywalker, a farm boy who yearned for adventures beyond Tatooine's two sons. Luke answered the call of destiny upon meeting Obi-Wan Kenobi, learning the ways of the Force, and taking his first steps towards becoming a Jedi Knight. What is it? Your father's lightsaber. This is the weapon of a Jedi Knight. Not as clumsy or random as a blaster. An elegant weapon for the more civilized age. Luke's backstory combines elements of every classic mythology while still being its own entity. It's a story that speaks to our inner underdog, showing that it only takes one rebel to blow up the Death Star. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Batman – The Batman Franchise Some adaptations have depicted how Batman began in great detail. Others have left it more ambiguous, allowing the audience to fill in the blanks. Whichever incarnation we're talking about, one thing remains the same. Batman was born one fateful night when young Bruce Wayne and his parents took a turn down a dark alley. A mugging quickly escalated into murder, leaving Bruce an orphan and abruptly ending his childhood. From Martha Wayne's pearls being ripped off to Bruce kneeling by his dead parents, this moment has no shortage of iconic imagery. No matter how many times we see it, this origin story never fails to give us the chills. In so few words, it captures why Bruce grew up to become Gotham's Dark Knight. What the hell are you? I'm Batman. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.